Anne Horn was strangled by her husband, who, in a fit of rage, brought her to the point of death. And at that moment, I felt like I was being pulled upwards. And as I began to float upwards, the feeling, I remember thinking, am I hallucinating this? What's going on? Am I going to float through the rafters? How does this work? Where, is, where am I going? And as soon as I remember asking that, all of a sudden, everything went dark. And I was floating, um, being pulled here in my chest, upward, in a very warm, very vast, very dark um, space. It was a, it was a, a place like going through sky at night. I mean, there wasn't anything there. And yet it didn't seem visually dark. I could see. There just wasn't anything there. And as I looked up, there was a tunnel, a light, an opening. And it was glowing. And around that opening were many people milling around. And it seemed to be one man kind of taking a turn at being in charge. And I could see that they were talking and some noticed that I was coming. And there was concern among them. And they talked to this man and he looked and saw me coming. And the next thing I knew, he floated up next to me. It's like I was coming this way and he came right here. And we were both floating in this space. And it was so wonderful. It was so loving and calm and peaceful. It was, it was wonderful. And he looked down at me. And he had a clipboard. And he looked like he was in street clothes, like a, a, uh, like a vest sweater and just kind of a regular kind of guy. And I knew him as uncle. And I remember thinking, I don't have an uncle that looks like him. And he looked down at me and he said, you're not supposed to be here. It's, it's not time for you to be here. And I remember looking up at him and saying, but I want to be here. And I had no conscious thoughts of where I'd come from or anything. I mean, it wasn't a matter, a matter of getting away or in lieu of. It was just, with all my heart, I wanted to be there. I, I wanted to come. I wanted to go home. And I was, I was happy. And he, he took a pause, and he kind of, you could see him thinking about something and deciding whether to, to say something next. And with that, my memory, um, there was a picture placed in my head of a memory of my original agreement of why I had come to Earth to begin with. And it was like I, I remembered and I went, oh, right, right. I think, I think one of the things that I've, thought about greatly is that one of the things that bothers me so tremendously about the metaphysical movement in lieu of my experience and in lieu of what I was shown which is a which I think if there's any message that I can give it's not about meditating and leaving your body and taking your light being out of this earth indeed not it is about bringing the light into this earth. Stay here. Be an anchor. Let the light come in through you into this world. Don't abandon this world. We need you. We need you here. We need you to be present. And, and we need you to be open with an open heart. It reminds me in a very silly way of the book called Horton Hears a Who. 
everybody must be open to bring this new age in it is about opening your heart and letting it sing through you it is coming and it's a matter of all of us just open your heart and let it come in don't don't leave don't meditate and and think this place is a bad place and we're going to get out of here this is a wonderful place and it's going to be even more wonderful you're here to anchor the light so it can come into this dimension and be here 